Hello guys, this is Lotus. Today I want to show you the best thread for hand stitching. This is Elisa 25, what is called a tiger thread because it has a tiger logo on the packaging. This is the best thread for hand stitching. I've tried all kinds of leather stitching, I mean leather threads uh, for my leather work and I find that this thread is the best for hand stitching. Uh, before I used this one, I used uh, Seraph Hill, uh, this is German thread. I used this thread ex extensively and uh, I, I found a developed problem and I searched for the information why it happens and uh, I found that it's all about the twist in the thread I'm going to sh show you in detail so before I will talk into the details I would like to show you where you can buy this thread I got mine from Rocky Mountain Leather Supply here um, it's a it's a RM leathersupply.com I will leave in the address in the comment so if you click on products and if you click on thread and sewing you, you will see this uh, this screen and uh, it's a, this one it's a Rita 25 polyester tiger thread uh, this is the pull spool and this is 25 meter uh, small spool okay so it's this one they have a deal it's a code five but if you buy five you can get one for free okay so you can order from here not sure about this one uh, this one is for machine sewing so I haven't tried this one I don't have any sewing machine so I have not tried this one but uh, you know it's this these ones okay these ones uh, I'll show you the thickness differences in the in the later part all right so this is the best stitch, best thread for hand stitching, and I will explain you why. So, here's the uh, the what's called magnified picture of thread, and the most times, including this one, it's a seraphil. Uh, let me show you briefly what the seraphils are. Uh, this is polyester thread from Aman Group. It's a German company. Um, here, it's uh, their contract address is uh, here. It's an almond group, it's a German company. It's they, they've produced their thread in Germany, um, I think three or four years ago, I think. But now they're made in China. Uh, they're not produced in Germany anymore. Uh, that's what I have known at the, at the latest news. And uh, they have uh, different sizes and the applications. Uh, they have they use for sports shoes and the uh, tracking shoes, bags, suitcases, leather clothing. All kinds of uh, applications, and they they are withstand. They can machine wash, and uh, they're nice. They have a wide selection of colors. Also, the problem is if you use this for hand stitching, uh, there's a problem. The these are you know I will just make it short. You know I don't want to make a documentary film on the YouTube video, so I'll just uh, make it short that you guys can understand what it's all about. So th almost every thread. It's, whether it's a nylon or polyester or all kinds of synthetic thread they're almost all z-twist thread and the z-twist is if you see, take a look at your thread closely okay you take a close look at your thread like this uh, can you see I'll un unwind a little bit yep can you see it's a Z twist. It it doesn't matter if you do it show it C like this or this. It's always a Z twist. Okay, so the direction is going this way. Okay, so it makes a Z this this line. It's a Z to Z twist. I got the image from yarnsoft.com. I just googled it and I found it from this website. And uh, what you need for your hand stitching, you need S twist. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and S twist. And uh, you don't really find S twist anymore on the market because uh, the industry, leatherworking industry or clothing industry, has moved on to sewing machine. Uh, hand sewing was popular back in the days, old days when the labor was cheap. Now labor is very expensive, so they use a lot of sewing machine to make clothes or make products faster than hand sewing. So a lot of thread companies don't really make S twist thread anymore. Uh, at least I, I cannot find any company who makes S twist thread. Uh, thread is not a like a high margin product. You know it, the margin is very small. 
so you know, in order to make a thread in a lot of quantities, there must be some kind of um, demand for the for the thread company to make them for sale. So S to S thread is not available anymore. If you find that stock, that's good. But S to S thread, you know, you can't really find it. So there's no option for S to S thread in the world. So most of the thread are Z twist. And if you use Z twist thread on your hand stitching, thread will untwist while you do the unstitching. Uh, it's uh, it's hard to explain the words, but uh, swing machine for swing machine it's okay because uh, the direction of the stitching is opposite of hand stitching. So as you go, the thread is tightened, so it's a uh, it's a more stable. But hand stitching is uh, is a clockwise. So as you do the stitching, you will unwind the sti stitching. The, the thread and the and the thread will the 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 part where you're holding with the needle the it will twist around. I'll show you in the video what what I mean. So you need to overcome that. And uh, what I you know found is is uh, this is a tight thread I've been used for years and uh, it's really nice thread for hand stitching because this hand this tight thread is not Z twist it's not S twist. This is braided thread. Okay. Here, it's a braided thread, specially treated, 100% polyester. I think specially treated means it's waxed. Uh, it's already pre-waxed. So, you know, as you can see, I I have put it, the threads in a, like a, this a plastic bag to avoid uh, the, um, what is it, contamination or the to avoid the, I don't want it to collect dust or the thread because I want, want to keep clean. So. It's a pre-waxed thread, so you don't have to use any of the beeswax for this. So you just uh, it's ready to go. So it's a braided thread. So what it looks like, I cannot find good image of the braided thread, like a picture like this. So I I sourced this. Um, I'm not sure exactly what is this called. Uh, this is um, cable organizer. Uh, it's used in the IT companies like server rooms or PCs. You know, or, you know, in inside of the computers. You know. You have many wires, and you use this as to you know you tighten them up uh, to make it neat and look clean. Okay, so you know you, you insert uh, electronic cables inside, so you and you let it go, and uh, it's just uh, it looks as a one cable. So I'm not sure know the I don't really know the name of it, but anyway, this is the great example of what the braided thread looks like. Okay, so I'll show you in detail. So there's a very tiny thin filaments of a thread it's uh, supposed to be you know this kind of thread is twisted you know like this okay let me show you camera twisted like this and this one is a braided so it interlocks each other so it's 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 going forward direction okay so it's not Z or it's not S twist it's just a going forward direction so there's no twist in it so as you do stitching, you get the pleasant feel of very nice, nice feel while you do do the stitching. Oh, uh, you you will see what I mean in the in the next part. So this is very nice, you know. Okay, so this braided thread is really nice for hand stitching. It has to be because there is no twist in it, right? So and uh, as you pull, it's very it's it's a stronger. So braided thread is not only easy to stitch. But also lasts much longer than average polyester thread. These are both polyester thread. Uh, it's uh, there's also called uh, nylon thread. Uh, nylon is cheaper, but uh, it's much more stable material. It's uh, you know polyester is much better than nylon. Polyester thread, you know, they are strong to chemicals. They are strong to UV lights, uh, sunlight, and uh, they just uh, they have a resistance to any of the mildews or rot. Uh, nylons are cheap, but they're weak. Okay, so it's always go. You know, it's just better go for with the polyester thread. It's polyester is much better uh, synthetic materials. Okay, and uh, polyester thread is easy to end up. You know, you can you can melt the thread and then you can just uh, tap it and it will make a, a small mushrooms so it doesn't get unstitched. Okay, so. I will show you exactly what it looks like in the in the stitching and the, how it's different. Uh, let me show you what this, this thick, thickness is, how is it different on the stitching and how it's different while you do the stitching if you compare with the 
uh, average polyester thread. Before I show you how easy the hand stitching is with the tiger thread, I would like to show you something here. Uh, this average polyester thread that you normally find on the market, if you cut the end part here, you see there's a lot of frays going on. You know, it's uh, untwist, it's, uh, it's not clean cut. It's, okay, it's you know, you get frays, the, the filaments are easy to unwind. Okay, show you, come on, closely. Okay, so it's not a clean cut. As this braided thread, however, the tiger thread, doesn't matter what size they are, this this uh, Serapil size 10 is very similar to Serapil size 0 0.6. And, uh, oops. See here, if you cut, it's very clean cut and it doesn't get frays even though you touch it. So, it when you go through the needles and you make a stitching, when you do go through the needle, you know, it, it goes into the holes very easily. Uh, it's just a cleaner cut every time you cut, it's, uh, it's very clean, it doesn't get frays, it doesn't get unwind, it's just a uh, it's very nice, nice thread to work with. Okay, so I will show you the stitching, how the stitching is. So before the video, I already made a set of threads here. So I made a one set. This one is a tiger thread. Okay, and uh, this one is just the average. Uh, polyester self fill thread. Okay. Alright, so top one, I will go with tiger thread. Okay. You guys see, it can look better. So, sure. So, I'm not going to go all the way. Uh, I'm going to just to show you how easy it is. So, equal both part. Nice and easy. This is tiger thread. Oops, it's hard to get it out. Oh, by the way, I used the Chanel number four size for the for the holes. Okay, so it it will have two lines. So the top one is tiger thread, and uh, it's hard to do in front of two in front of camera. I can't really see. You see, what I mean is this: the thread is not twisted. Okay, it just uh, stays very flat. It's not tangly. Okay. Okay, it stays tang untangled. It just uh, stays very stable. Okay, uh, I will just cut cut it in this section and uh, let me do the serifil, the average polyester thread. What it looks like. It's a bottom. I go start with the serifil. Okay even okay, on both sides here this thread it has a both same side so uh, it will show you how it's different on the, on the stitching also okay start to call up <laughs> Oops, it's okay. I usually do with a one plier, 
my camera is in front of me, so kind of hard. Okay, I usually do with the plier, so when the needles doesn't really uh, come out from the hole easily because of the head eye of the needle, I use the just the plier to get it out from from the hole. Okay. Uh, doesn't really happen on the camera, but uh, this is supposed to be you know tangly and uh, Yeah, you see, it starts to curl up like this. Yeah, it's embarrassing, very <laughs> free embarrassing too, because it doesn't really seem to be bad on the camera. But uh, you know, please, you know, you can, you have to take my word for it. You know, if you do long lines of stitching, I think this because the uh, the th leftover thread is uh, not too long. See, you see this, so I have to unwind this again to do the stitching. You you experience this already experience this if you already use this kind of thread. Uh, I think the leftover thread is not too long, so it doesn't really happen much. But you know, it this always calls up. Okay, here, look at this. If you are doing longer stitching, of course, it it's just uh, it happens better. Okay. I just uh, wanted to show you small example, so it doesn't happen seriously, but. Uh, it does okay you will see what I mean here yeah okay yeah see nope it just uh, it tangles up and uh, if, if this it gets any longer if as you do the stitching the your stitching looks funny because of the the this uh, the severe twist in the in the in the stitching okay I'm not doing with anything funny with the needle okay I'm not doing anything funny just uh, they're just uh, unwinding themselves okay. so let me cut this yep this is how the stitching looks like. So the bottom one is a seraphil, the top one is tiger thread. Yeah. Tiger thread has uh, many filaments wound up together, so it's it's a better it's a have a better wear resistance. So even though this looks similar, as the time goes on, the tiger thread stays much stronger. Uh, this filaments of a of a just the average uh, twisted uh, polyester thread doesn't last as long as the tiger thread. So, if you are looking for a durable uh, leather good products, you know go for it with the tiger thread. It just uh, stays on much much longer, has a better wear resistance on the thread. Okay, so it's supposed to look like this. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you what it's like on the each size. Uh, this one is size 0.6 on the 4 millimeter Kyoshinel breaking iron. So, uh, and the Seraphil is a size 10. Okay. So I will show you the. I'm not going to show you the all the detail stitching, uh, the process. I will just uh, make a make a breaking iron mark, and then I will just uh, compare the sizes. All right, stitching is done. So here's the compares uh, size thicknesses from 0 0.6 to 1.2. Uh, it's a Kyoshinel 4 millimeter pricking iron. So 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 is a nice size, and uh, I think 1.0 and 1.2 is a little bit th too thick for the pricking iron size. I think 5 mil or 6 millimeter size is good for the thicker threads. So uh, if you are looking for uh, size thicknesses, uh, 0 0.6 or 0 0.8 is a good choice. 
Okay, I hammered it down to make it flat. So if you don't like a uh, flat size of a uh, stitching, you just don't, you don't need to hammer it down. It's just uh, leave it there. Okay, so this is the size comparison. All right, so thank you for watching, guys. And uh, if you want to support my channel, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Uh, you know, it's it's a great support if you give me a thumbs up and if you subscribe my channel. So, all right. So thanks for watching, guys, and I uh, will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.